We gonna be doing something, my name is Delilah if you don't know already. We gonna be doing something new today. Let me know if you like this idea. Today, we're gonna be talking about like makeup drops, all the new shit that's coming out. But at the same time, we are gonna be on that za. people they do reviews they share their opinions on like new makeup drops but what i'm trying to do is you see how when you when you smoking with somebody you puff puff pass puff puff pass so so the makeup idea that i got is if i'm really feeling it like we're gonna puff puff on the blunt if we don't like it we're gonna pass the blunt feel me so is it a puff puff or is it a pass ah get it all right, cool, so. Okay. So the first product we're gonna be talking about is this new eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona. I think it's called Xenon. It's $69. I feel like if you're trying to achieve that perfect smoke, like that traditional gray smoky eye, black smoky eye, I feel like you would enjoy this. But what I find strange, the more that I look at this picture, there's barely any mattes in here. It's mostly shimmers. And then it's so weird because it's like there's a whole bunch of grays, dark blues, white, and then they added pink. I don't know. I would say if I would say if I didn't have these shades, like if I really wanted a smoky palette with a good amount of shimmers, <clears throat> I would puff it, but I'm gonna have to pass. Because the only reason why I pass is because I know how amazing Natasha Denona's eyeshadows are. I have like three or four palettes myself. The color story is not grasping me, feel me? Ooh, bitch. This next one, I am excited for. The new Glow Reviver Lip Oil from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Oh my god. Wait, let me see how much is this whatever i don't see a price but before elf got its recognition the way that they do now i remember they used to have elf products in dr j's okay in dr j's i remember i bought a lipstick from there it was amazing it smelled good the color was beautiful but just something about it felt really cheap elf now has really elevated their brand and they're doing a lot better and i'm super excited for lip oils lip oils is the new lip gloss right now we all love the dior lip oils but they're 40 dollars okay these are probably like six dollars we definitely gonna puff puff on the elf lip oils next up is this urban decay moon dust palette i'm with it i'm puffing I haven't bought an Urban Decay eyeshadow palette in so long. This is something that I will purchase. Like, their moon dust eyeshadows, their glitter, they're so fucking pretty. And the fact that it's just moon dust, oh, love that. Urban Decay, you guys need to, you guys need to get with it. You see how you came out with all shimmer palettes, all glitter palettes? Now it's time for you guys to come out with an all matte palette because the formula that you guys have is freaking amazing. The color story and the ratio of how many mattes and shimmers is in one palette, no. You need to, the Moon Dust palette is an amazing start. The Urban Decay eyeshadow formula is so good. It's there, but it's just the colors that they choose. This next palette, it looks really, really cute. I wouldn't get it. If it was gifted to me, I would definitely keep it. I wouldn't give it away. I feel like this is a beautiful Natasha Denona. The color story is just really, really pretty. It's eye-catching and it makes you want to buy it. That second eyeshadow right there, that shimmer is ridiculous. And that dark blue, I'll puff on that. Definitely gonna be puffing on this, but I'm not getting it. This is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm Set. I already bought a Lip Butter Balm Set <laughs> from Summer Fridays when they first came out with one. I bought so many of the Summer Fridays lip balms individually. I need to stop. I'm not gonna buy it. 
I'm not gonna buy it. And this new trio, if you are a Starbucks girly, I would definitely get this one because they have a new flavor. It's called, it's iced coffee. And that is like the cutest shit ever. And Summer Fridays have a wonderful formula. I feel like it nourishes the lips, even though it is fully absorbed into your lips. I feel like it still keeps your lips really nice and hydrated. So I really highly do recommend this. I'm gonna pass on it. I have too many. You know how many sugar cookie ones I bought? You know how many clear ones I bought? Come on now. If I didn't have any summer Fridays, I would definitely puff. Even though I'm not getting this, it still gets a puff because it's summer Fridays. Summer Fridays lip balm, you did that. Okay, next up for the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyeshadow Palette. So basically, he just brought it back. He just brought it back and I don't know if it's limited edition or if it's going to be a permanent thing now. But he just brought back the old palette. If he's going to bring back the palette, it has to be permanent. This is going to be the second time. If you take that palette away, the next palette you come up with, it better be a masterpiece. And it has to be permanent because everyone loved that palette. I was so close to getting it, but I'm like, I can't get it. I have too many neutrals, I have too many shimmers, but I keep looking at it and I want it. I want that palette and I heard that the um, the formula in this palette, it's a lot softer and it blends a lot easier than the other, than the master mattes. But um, yeah, I'll definitely puff on that. Like even though he came out with it again, I really do want that palette. Okay, next up is this. Oh, it's the Major Holiday Face Palette. This palette is freaking gorgeous. Like, if you don't have a pink blush, ooh, these are, whew, these are cute, but I'm not gonna get it. So if you, if, if you guys don't know, I am a makeup artist, so I have a lot of shit, okay? Like, I have a problem, I, I collect. It's like I have so many pink blushes, I have so many shimmers, I have so many highlighters. It's like things like this, I don't need to get it. But if you don't have certain staples in your kit like this, get it. Get it. Because I feel like if you're of a certain tone, you can get away with these pinks in these Patrick Ta palettes because I feel like a lot of his colors are meant to fit a lot of skin tones. I already have a whole Patrick Ta face palette. Ooh, let me show you guys some fragrances. So I'm super excited for these, these new Kayali fragrances. At first, when I smelled them, I thought they were very unique, very sweet, how I liked it. Maybe over the past year or two, I kind of, I'm kind of stepping away. Because when I smelled, like when I smelled, which one is, I think it was Candy Apple. I had a sample and I'm like, oh my god, this shit smells delicious. And then when I smelled it again, like a year or two later, I was like, this smells very like teenager. Like it's just, it's very sugary. It's like I smelled it before. The pistachio, I feel like it low key has notes of Fleur, not your baby. That's a, that's a fragrance that I have. The vanilla, it smells just like Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods, I think it's called. And I already have that. I'm really excited for these. These are the new Oud Gasm. So vanilla Oud, rose Oud, cafe Oud, and tobacco Oud. And they just look so magical and dark and witchy. Like I just love the aesthetic of them. Next up are these Road Peptide Lip Treatments. And they look really good. The picture that I see here is giving Fenty vibes. Like those are the shades that everybody wants. So in this picture, I see fruit snacks. I see hot chocolate, I see Fenty Glow, and what was the other one? I see Fenty Glow and I see Fussy. They look pretty good to me, and they're only $16. I might have to give it a puff. They look nice and hydrating and nourishing, like it looks thick and shiny. Ooh, can we talk about this new Elf X Jennifer Coolidge Dirty Pillows? so fucking cute but like i honestly see where they were going with this and i love the packaging and i yo elf please i know i know you guys are all about the very affordable cute packaging but elf this packaging right here looks very fancy it looks very very cute the way this lipsticks look 
the way this lipstick looks the way the lip liner looks the lip gloss everything oh my god the packaging is gorgeous the only thing is i was looking at the swatches for different skin tones that is the only part where they messed up at with Jennifer Coolidge. Jennifer Coolidge, you should have added darker shades. You should have did. I feel like you were going for the Charlotte Tilbury vibes with the dirty pillows. Pillow talk. If you're gonna mimic, if you're gonna get inspired by Charlotte Tilbury, you should do all three. This one looks like pillow talk. She should have made pillow talk medium and the pillow talk three. Like that would have been she would have killed yo. She would have made so much money. Oh my god. She probably gonna make a lot of money off of this because this packaging is gorgeous. So I'm like, I'm just a little stuck. I'm, I'm, I don't know because the packaging is fucking gorgeous, but it's like the colors. I don't know if it's giving inclusivity. Oh, next. I actually forgot about this Patrick Ta product. Is the new eye topper. These are kind of reminding me of the Artist Couture um, eye toppers. You know the, the the loose eyeshadows that they use, that they have. And these are actually gorgeous. I don't know where mine is, but I really want to give these a shot. I want to swatch them. I want to see how they work because I love me a good topper. I'm gonna give it a puff. I don't know how to pronounce her freaking brand skin. I think it's just skin. Skin by Kim. She came out with a new resurfacing face mask. It is AHA, it's not BHA. Resurfacing mask, pumpkin enzyme, plus AHA mask. I feel like it's just gonna be one of those masks that probably tingle or burn a little bit. You might feel a little bit of warmth that's really going to eat up the um, dead skin on the first layer of your face because it is an AHA. So AHA is more of an exfoliant for more of the outside. So it's not really going to unclog and really exfoliate from the inside out. This mask is gonna be focused more on the surface. If you're someone that I feel like deals with a little bit of texture a little bit of unevenness with skin tone i feel like this is something that will help you with that and i would like to try it because it one it looks really really pretty but i i feel like every time someone reviews something on her they just shit on her and i feel like the reason why they do this is probably is probably because of the price and who she is so they probably be like oh come on like she could invest a little more into this product to actually make it work and not make it cost an arm and a leg just paying for like you know it doesn't really it's not making me want to buy it when i see a skims ad i want to buy it yeah i'm gonna give this a pass okay and then lastly i'm gonna do these fragrances from victoria beckham it's giving tom ford vibes very grown sexy sleek but very colorful like i love the colors it's different let me see there's portofino 97 sweet 302 sunny cedar drive you know and i feel like she's calling these from you know her experiences in life places that she really loved and i'm wondering like i never purchased anything from victoria beckham and I have grown to really, really love fragrances. Like I love makeup, but sometimes you get tired of the shit that you love. So I really started to grow a liking for fragrance, and I get really excited when I find out about a new fragrance because it's like it's a new fragrance. Let's see if they have any like description. Oh, oh, that's so cute. <gasps> oh my god! Wait, let me read you guys the description. Porto Fino is inspired by Victoria and David Tripp in 1997 to. Portofino while she was in the Spice Girls and he was playing for Manchester United. Oh my god, that's so cute. Okay, oh my god, I really want to smell these now. You see, I had, I had a feeling that she named these after like memories in her life. Just, just, just because of the way it, it sounds. Okay, so Sweet 302. This fragrance captures the memories of David and Victoria in Paris, the city they sneak off to, their happy place. Oh, that's so fucking cute. Okay, so top notes is black cherry, red peppercorn, middle notes, midnight violet and rose. Ooh, base notes, tobacco leaves, and black leather. Mmm, that sounds good. 
San Isidro Drive is signifies a time in a victorious life that was full of new beginnings living in California. Top notes, passion fruit and saffron. Middle notes, rose and jasmine. Damn, that smells good. Base notes, black amber and argilwood. I think, okay. Ooh. I'm kind of excited to smell all of them because I fucking love the Spice Girls and the fact that oh one of the fragrances has to do something with the Spice Girls. I love that. But off of like the description, I really do want to try Sweet 302 and San Isidro. So that is it for all the makeup drops so far. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a beautiful positive, leave a beautiful positive comment down below, and I'll see you guys.